over documentation. So our first topic that is an introduction to Python programming. So Python programming is most famous and most popular programming language in today. Python can be used everywhere. Python can be used in web development. Python can be used in Windows development. Python can be used to design your own games. Python can be used in networking and many more. So Python is very interesting and very famous programming language for it is one of the most beautiful language as compared to other programming language. So let's start. A programming language like C, Pascal or Fortran concentrate more on the functional aspect of programming. In these languages, there will be a more focus on writing the code using a function. For example, we can imagine a C program as a combination of several functions. Computer scientists thought that programming will become easy for a human being to understand if it is based on a real life examples. Hence, they developed the object oriented programming language like Java and .NET, where programming is done through classes and objects. Programmers started migration from C to Java and Java soon became the most popular language in the software community. In Java, the programmer should express his logic through classes and object only. It is not possible to write a program without writing at least one text. This makes programming lending. Whenever you try to write a program in any other language, you have to write a class or you have to write a main method. So this makes a program lengthy. For example, this is a simple program uh, which are written in your Java. So this is a class add and public stat requirement string argument. So we have to define the two variables that is integer a comma b, a is equal to and b is equal to value is 10 and system dot out printed and we have to print a simple addition of this program. So this is a very lengthy program. Okay, you should at least try to implement at least one class method. So programmer understand that in certain cases where there is a no need to go for classes or object. This type of coding consuming more time. Nowadays programmer want to see style as well as Java style orientation. When they want a functional aspect, they can use a C style coding. And when they can need to use a class and object, they can use a Java style coding. Okay, suppose we want to use a both combination that is a C style or as well as Java style. So this is the only happen only in the Python program. Okay, so how we can use the C style and Java style? The only answer for their requirement is a Python program. So Python is a combination of C language as well as Java language. If you want to use the functional programming, then you can use a C language. If you want to use a class and an object, you can use a Java program. Okay, so both of the combinations are present in the Python. So Python is the most famous and popular programming language today. So this is the introduction part. So next part is that. So history of Python. We know the history of Java. We know the history of C language. We know the history of C++. So, what is the history of Python? How the Python become the most famous programming language? And how the name Python given this language as a Python? Okay, so Python is a widely used general purpose high level programming language. There are lots of names given to the Python. Python is a general purpose language. Python is a high level language. Python is a scripting language. Python is a dynamic language. So these are the names given to the, this programming language. And Python is also multi-purpose programming language. So Python is a widely used general purpose high level programming language. It was initially designed by the Goryeo Van Persson in 1991. The developer that is a Goryeo Van Persson. And developed by Python Software Foundation. It was mainly developed for emphasis on a code readability and its syntax allows programmer to express the concept in fewer lines of code. This is the beauty of Python. You can use less line of code as compared to other language. In the late 1980s, history was about the return 
it was that time when working on python started soon after that godrev anderson began doing its application based work in december of 1989 by at centrum responded and info informatica that is a cwi which is situated in the netherlands it was started firstly as a hobby project because he was looking for an interesting project to keep him occupied during at christmas so godrev anderson looking or develop a program a develop a project which has a less number of code the programming language which python is said to have a succeeded is abc programming language so before the python there is a, another one language that language is called as abc programming language which had the interfacing with the amoeba operating system and had the feature of exception handling the abc language has a feature one of the feature that is called as the exception handling he had already helped to create abc earlier in his career and he had to see some issues with the abc language but like the most of the features after that what he did as a really very clever he had taken the syntax from the abc programming language and some of its good features so combination of these two make a python programming language it came up with a lot of complaints too so he fixed those issues completely and had created a good scripting language which had removed all the flaws of in the programming the inspiration of for the name came from the bbc's tv show that is a monty's python's flying circus as he was a big fan of the tv shows and also he wanted a short unique and slightly mysterious name for his invention and hence the name is as a python the python name came from one of the tv shows that is a monty's python's flying circus and that's why we choose a name that is a python so he was a benevolent uh, detector of life until he stepped down from the position as the leader on the 12th july 2018 for quite some time he used to work for google but currently he is working at a dropbox the language was finally released in the 1991 when it was released it is used a lot of ever course to express the concept when we compare it with the java c++ and c its design philosophy was a quite good too its main objective is to provide a code readability and advanced developer productivity when it was released it had a more than enough capability to provide a classes with in written several core data types exception handling and functions so this is a one of the most beautiful history of python so the next point we have to discuss is that is the features in the python so what are the features when you learn any programming language the language has some features is all so what are the features of python there are a many features in python some of which are discussed in the video the first feature of python is that is easy to code that is a python is a high level programming language python is a very easy to learn language and as compared to other programming language like a c c sharp javascript java etc it is a very easy to code in python language and anybody can learn python basic in few hours or days it is also developed it is also a developer friendly language so easy to code it is one of the most famous feature of python so second feature of python is a free and open source python language is a freely available at official website we will see in the next uh, sessions that how we can download the python and what are the software required to develop your code since it is a open source this means that source code is also available to the public so you can download it as and use it as well as share it that is a second feature of python that is a free and open source language 
Third feature of Python is an object oriented language. One of the key features of Python is an object oriented programming. Python supports object oriented language and concept of classes, object and encapsulation, etc. So these are the features which is coming from the Java language. So Python is a combination of C and Java. And the idea of to develop the Python that is a coming from one of the language that is the ABC language. And ABC language has a feature that is one of the most uh, first feature that is exception handling concept. So fourth one is a GUI programming support, graphical user interface. I have already told you Python can be used everywhere. If you want to develop a Windows application, then Python supports you. Graphical user interface can be made using a module such as PyQt5, PyQt4, WX Python, or PK in Python. So these are the modules which can be used to help develop a Windows application. So PyQt5 is the most popular option for creating a graphical apps with the Python. So this is a GUI software. Fifth one, that is a high level language. Python is a high level language. When we write a program in Python, we do not need to remember that system architecture, nor do we need to manage the memory also. The memory management is automatic in Python. So how the Python handle the memory management? By using the reference counting. So this is a, one of the most famous and popular in Python. So what is mean by the reference counting? I have already made the video on this and this is frequently asked the question in interview. So what is mean by the reference counting? I will provide the link in the description. Please watch it. So last one is the interpreted language. Python is an interpreted language because Python code is executed line by line at a time. Like other language that is a C, C++, Java, etc., there is a no need to compile Python code. This makes it easier to debug our code. The source code of Python is converted into an intermediate form called as a bytecode or immediate form called as a bytecode. You know, when you run the Java program, there is a class file and that class file is called as a bytecode. Same concept is here. When you run the Python program, there is a one file is created and that file is called as a PYC file. PYC means Python compiler file. In the next point, we will discuss how we can execute a Python program. So what are the steps or what are the what happening internal when you run the Python program? So these are the features of a Python programming language. There are a lot of features also. There is a huge support of library. There is another feature of Python. Python support a huge library also. Okay, so this is the features of Python programming language. So next topic that is the execution of Python program. How the Python program execute a program internally? So this is the most uh, important concept and in interview section, the number of questions asked on the basis of this. So let us assume that we write a Python program with the name that is add.py. So my file name is add.py. Py.py is the extension of Python file. Like if you want to develop a program in Java, the extension was .java. Okay. So if you want to develop a Python program, that extension is .py. Here add is a program name and .py is the file extension name. Every Python program is a type with an extension that is a .py extension. Remember, after the typing the program, suppose you type a program, next step is to compile it. Right? Okay. So next step is to compile the program using a Python compiler. The compiler convert Python program into another code called as a bytecode. Whenever you compile the Java program, there is a one class file is there. And that class file is called as a bytecode. So same concept is happening here in Python also. When you compile the Python program, there is a program converted into another code and that code is called as a bytecode. 
Bytecode represent a fixed set of instructions. So what is mean by the bytecode? Bytecode is nothing but it is a fixed set of instructions that represent all the operations like the arithmetic operations, comparison operations and memory related operations. This is a bytecode. It means the byte instructions are the system independent or platform independent. Byte instructions are system independent and platform independent. These byte code instructions are contained in the file and that file is called as add.pyc file. Okay, so what is the PYC? Here the PYC is means that Python compiled file. That is called as the PYC file. The next step, when you write, when you compile the program, the next step is to run the program. If you directly give the byte code to the system or computer, it cannot execute them. Since the binary code is understandable to the machine, it is also called machine code. It is uh, therefore necessary to convert the byte code into machine code so that our computer can understand and execute it. For this purpose, we should use a PVM. So what is meant by the PVM? PVM is uh, nothing but Python Virtual Machine. In Java, there is a JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. But in the Python, we have to use a PVM concept. PVM stands for Python Virtual Machine. So, what is the task of Python Virtual Machine? Python Virtual Machine uses an interpreter which understands the byte code and convert it into a machine code. Python first understand the processor and operating system in our computer then it convert the byte code into a machine code understandable to that processor and into that format understandable to the operating system. These machine code instructions are then executed by the processor and the results are displayed on the screen. So, this is an execution process happening in Python. When you compile a program, the program is converted into an intermediate code and that intermediate code is called as a byte code and byte code, if you provide a direct to the computer or machine, the byte code can't understand the machine. Okay, so machine only understand when, when Python virtual machine uses an interpreter and that interpreter understand the byte code and convert it into the machine level. So this is a diagram. Suppose this is your source code, that is a py file and this py file is a translated to in a byte code, that is a dot .pyc file. pyc means Python compiled file. And this byte code executed by the Python virtual machine. And that it convert the byte code into a machine code understandable to that processor. So in this way, the execution process is uh, handled internally when you compile, when you run the program. So Python is a interpreted programming language. So this is uh, one of the most uh, commonly used uh, features of uh, Python. So this is our uh, first topic that is the uh, introduction to Python uh, completed. I hope you understand the basic concept that is the uh, introduction to Python. So this is the base of Python programming language. So our uh, next topic that is uh, our first Python program uh, we will discuss. Uh, okay. So let's start our uh, second topic.